supposed to say I was born ready. Well, I did, but, I, but I, it's just, since you said it, it doesn't sound as convincing. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I see. All right, so uh, first thing first. What's a graph? Boring things. Boring things? Oh, wow. Not so much. <laughs> Wait, what is a graph? We just got done graphing. What is a graph? So oh, an answer of something, I don't know. It's a picture. A picture of answers. Of all answers. Because remember, you can't write them. For a lot of these things we're doing, you can't write them out. But you can draw a picture. Actually, if you have a picture, you can kind of just look and okay. like determine things about a situation. So a graph's a picture of all the answers. Uh, a linear means a straight line, which is redundant. All lines are straight. So it's a line, not a curve. And inequalities are not equal. So like, those are what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> so, um, Mr. Flowers, do you remember when we would do stuff like this? Remember how that would be a circle? And x is greater than 3, so those are all the numbers that are greater than 3, so it would be like that. Well, those concepts come into play here, because we still use a circle or a solid dot, except it's going to be like an x and a y. So when we do that, if it's a strict inequality, it's a dotted line, and if it's a not strict inequality, it's a solid line. And we drew two clown faces. Ah. Lexi, see what I mean, though? Yes. Okay. So let's try one. Let's do, let's do y is, I don't know. Edgar, what do you want? Greater than, less than, you tell me. Mm, greater. greater than. Do you want it or equal to or not or equal to? It's uh, a lot of power, yeah. I know. Yeah? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Too late now if you change your mind. Mm. Positive or negative slope? Negative? So there, we're going to graph this inequality. Y is greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 4. How many, how, many, how many answers are there to this equation or this inequality? As far as the line goes? As far as for like as many as you want, right? That's yeah, infinite. So we can't actually write them, but we can draw a picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph it. So this is our x-axis. This is our y-axis. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Right. So yeah, our y-intercept is four. So that would be a key. And our slope is negative one half. So we go down one and over two, over one, over two, and then down one and over two again. Right. Rise over run. And then connect the los puntos. But here's where you have to be careful. It's going to be a solid line, not a dotted line. That gets graded. Make it go all the way across your graph. Because, yeah. Put arrows in the end, because arrow means it keeps going. So it would be, it's four up and then down one and then over two. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Now, Alexa, you remember how on these we shaded because there's more than an there's more answers, right? Shade Same here. So you shade the top or the bottom. Now, wait, do you remember how like I don't know, like on your quiz, you remember how uh, you can't always just go by the direction of the inequality because it might confuse you. Same here. So it might be above because it's greater, but it might be less. It really depends on the situation, and it depends on how the equation is written. So what I do, I just pick a point. So pick a point either underneath the line or above the line and check it. Always choose zero, zero. If you can, zero, zero is the best because the math is really easy, right? So let's see if that's an answer. Now, Alexa, if it is an answer, that means all of the things down here are answers. And I'm going to shade everything underneath. I've never understood the shading part. Do you see now? No. 
<laughs> no, what? Well, because the shade is part of the... So check this out. You know how on these, the shading is all the answers? So they're like four, five, no, six. Above so everything above three is an answer. And that's why we shade it that way. Mm-hmm. If we shaded un- wherever we shade, that's where the answers are. So the answers are going to be everything on this line and then wherever it's shaded. So the shading, at least how we do it here in the United States, is the answers. In England, they do it the other way. In England, the shading's the not answers. It's weird. It doesn't make sense to me. So how will you know? Well, that's the thing. We just pick a number and you plug it in. So like, like take zero zero and plug it in. So I'm going to put zero for y greater than or equal to negative one half, zero for x, mas cuatro. And you see if that's true. Let's see, is zero greater than or equal to four? No. I don't think so either. So, so that's not an answer. Well, no, 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 wait, wait, that just means that just means that, that this, 0, 0, is not an answer. So the points underneath, we can say all the points underneath are not answers, but, but the points above are going to be answers. And so I could, what? Well, so this is not an answer, 0, 0, and that's underneath, right? Mm-hmm. But the answers above will be then, because it's either going to be above or below. Do you want to check one just to make sure? Okay, so let's try this one right here. This is uh, 0, 5, yes? Oh, no, let's do one more. Uh, 0, 6. So it would be easier arithmetic. So we're going to check 0, 6. So that's... Uh, oh, I guess it wouldn't matter. Never mind. Um, the, the arithmetic's easier, easy either, either way. So is 6 greater than or equal to 4? Simon Limon. That's an answer. So we just say. So zero six is an answer. Everything above is an answer. Everything below is not an answer. So we're going to shade it above. I'm going to use a fancy highlighter because I got one. That means everything above that line is an answer, and everything below the line is not an answer. So. <clears throat> so this yeah. is what this is what we're going to be doing. What's that? This is what we're going to. Uh huh. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to put that in my answer. I've done that with my Simon Limon? Okay. 